which one? Hello everyone, how are you? Uh, this is the last week of uh, online teaching. Uh, it's in the middle of the summer. Um, I have. I hope you have a great time at home, um, even though just the situation is not very good. We hope we see you soon, face to face. Until then, please stay safe. Okay, um, let's start today's lesson. Uh, we are gonna review Unit 3 today. And then before we do that, um, laptop, and I'm sorry, iPad, iPad, please iPad. Let's listen to this page uh, 31, page 31, pronunciation, strong syllables, let's practice this pronunciation, okay, page 31, let's listen to page 31. Page 31, exercise 3A. Track 18. Paper. Restaurant. Computer. Okay, let's listen and repeat once again. Page 31, exercise 3A. Track 18. Paper. Restaurant. Computer. Okay. Let's read with me. Repeat it to me. Paper. Restaurant. Computer. Okay, next. B. Let's listen to B. Listen and repeat. Page 31. Exercise 3B. Track 19. Necklace. Keyboard. Bracelet. Sweater. Jacket. Cashier, career, repair, achieve, medium, counselor, uniform, manager, citizen, mechanic, Tomorrow, computer, eraser, television, citizenship. Okay, okay. please uh, keep in mind which syllable do you uh, pronounce strong. Okay, let's listen and repeat Page 31. once again. Exercise 3D. Track 19. Necklace. Keyboard. Bracelet. Sweater. Jacket. Cashier. Career. Repair. Achieve. Medium. Counselor. Uniform. Manager. Citizen. Mechanic. Tomorrow. Computer. Eraser. Television. 
citizenship. Okay, let's move to C. Listen. Page 31, exercise 3C, track 20, 1. Instructor. 2. Partner. 3. Enroll. 4. Dictionary. 5. Business. 6. Sunglasses. 7. Management. Eight. Relax. Nine. Important. Okay. Now, repeat after me. See, repeat after me. Instructor. Partner. Enroll. Dictionary. Business. Sunglasses. Management. Relax. Important. Okay, listen. And repeat once again. Page 31, exercise 3C, track 20, 1. Instructor. 2. Partner. 3. Enroll. 4. Dictionary. Five. Business. Six. Sunglasses. Seven. Management. Eight. Relax. Nine. Important. Okay, good. Now, we are on Unit 3, page 32. Unit 3, page 32. Friends and family. Friends and family. Friends and family. Page 32, repeat after me. Repeat after me, look at B. A broken down car. Smoke. Groceries. A trunk. A worried woman. An overhead engine, a hood. Okay, let's read once again. A broken down car, smoke, groceries, a trunk, a worried woman. An overheated engine, a hood. Okay, let's listen page 
Unit 3, Friends and Family, page 33. Exercises 2A and 2B, track 21. Conversation A. Rigatoni Restaurant, Daniel speaking. Hi, Daniel. It's me. Rosa, hi. Is everything okay? Not really. I went to the supermarket with the children, and the car broke down. The car broke down? What's wrong? I don't know. I think it's the engine. Did you open the hood? Yes, I did. There's a lot of smoke. Where are you? I'm at the side of the road, near the supermarket. Stay there. I'm going to leave work right now. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay. I have a lot of groceries in the trunk. Please hurry. Okay, the question is, who is Rosa talking to? Who is Rosa talking to? Rosa is talking to somebody on the phone. Write the letter of the conversation. Okay, who is Rosa talking to? Okay, let's listen to this once again. 33. Exercises 2A and 2B. Track 21. Conversation A. Rigatoni Restaurant, Daniel speaking. Hi, Daniel. It's me. Rosa, hi. Is everything okay? Not really. I went to the supermarket with the children, and the car broke down. The car broke down? What's wrong? I don't know. I think it's the engine. Did you open the hood? Yes, I did. There's a lot of smoke. Where are you? I'm at the side of the road, near the supermarket. Stay there. I'm going to leave work right now. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay. I have a lot of groceries in the trunk. Please hurry. So the answer is number three. Conversation B. Restaurant B. B. Mike's Auto Repair. Hi, Mike. It's Rosa, Daniel's wife. Oh, hi, Rosa. How are you? Well, not so good. Why? What's wrong? Well, this morning I went to the store to buy groceries for a picnic. But then our car broke down. My husband came and picked us up. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosa. Could you pick up the car for us? It's on the side of the road near the supermarket. Of course. I'll pick it up and take it to my shop this afternoon. Thanks, Mike. Okay, that's A. Conversation number one. C. B, number one. Hello, Swift Dry Cleaners. Hi, Ling. It's Rosa. How are you? I'm good. I'm almost done with work. Will I see you tonight? I'm not sure. We had car trouble today. I need a ride to school tonight. Can you pick me up? <coughs> sure. What time? <coughs> I usually leave my house at 7 o'clock. <coughs> okay. Excuse me. I'll pick you up at 7. That's great. You're a good friend, Ling. Thank you. No problem. See you tonight. Okay. That's Ling. So, number two. Okay, let's listen to B. True or false? Unit 3, Friends and Family, page 33. Exercises 2A and 2B, track 21. Conversation A. Rigatoni Restaurant, Daniel speaking. Hi, Daniel. It's me. Rosa, hi. Is everything okay? Not really. I went to the supermarket with the children, and the car broke down. The car broke down? What's wrong? I don't know. I think it's the engine. Did you open the hood? Yes, I did. There's a lot of smoke. Where are you? I'm at the side of the road, near the supermarket. Stay there. I'm going to leave work right now. I'll be there in 10 minutes. Okay. I have a lot of groceries in the trunk. Please hurry. Okay. 
Let's look at number one. Rosa calls her boss. Is he her boss? No, it's false. It's her husband. Number two, Rosa's husband is going to come from work. That's true. Rosa knows the problem with the car. I'm not sure, so that's false. Okay? She doesn't know. Okay, conversation B. Conversation B. Mike's Auto Repair. Hi, Mike. It's Rosa, Daniel's wife. Oh, hi, Rosa. How are you? Well, not so good. Why? What's wrong? Well, this morning I went to the store to buy groceries for a picnic. But then our car broke down. My husband came and picked us up. Oh, I'm sorry, Rosa. Could you pick up the car for us? It's on the side of the road near the supermarket. Of course. I'll pick it up and take it to my shop this afternoon. Thanks, Mike. Okay, that's conversation B. Let's look at number four. Mike works at a coffee shop. Where does he work? Auto repair. That's false. Number five. Mike will pick up the car this afternoon. Yes, that's true. And then number six. Mike will pick up Rosa and her children. No. no. Okay. Conversation C. Conversation C. <laughs> dry cleaners. Hi Ling, it's Rosa. How are you? I'm good. I'm almost done with work. Will I see you tonight? I'm not sure. We had car trouble today. I need a ride to school tonight. Can you pick me up? Sure. What time? I usually leave my house at seven o'clock. Okay. I'll pick you up at seven. That's great. You're a good friend Ling. Thank you. No problem. See you tonight. Okay, look at number seven. Ling needs a ride to school tonight. Who needs a ride? Not Ling, it's Rosa. Okay, that's false. Hey, Rosa usually leaves her house at seven. That's true. Number nine, Ling will pick up Rosa at eight. No, at seven. So that's false. Okay, good. Okay, in this way, uh, you can improve your listening skills. Okay, let's turn the page. Page 34. Lesson B. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? So this is a past tense practice. What did you do? What did you do? How do you know? How do you know this is past tense? Because did it presents it's a past tense. So you can add any past tense phrase. What did you do last weekend? So repeat after me. What did you do last weekend? What did you do last weekend? Okay, let's take a break.